Another conflict has broken out in the Russian Federation between the Chechen leadership and the Federal Center and other Russian regions. The Chechen authorities did not like the ban on wearing hijabs and niqabs in schools introduced in the Vladimir region. In particular, Ramzan Kadyrov's right-hand State Duma deputy Adam Delimkanov expressed his indignation calling the ban introduced in the Vladimir region discrimination and a violation of the constitution. Dialogue reports. The press service of the Regional Ministry of Education in turn indicated that the Russian Federation is a secular state in which the church is separated from the state. Several Z bloggers responded to the indignation of Delimkanov and other representatives of the Chechen authorities demanding that the Chechen leadership not interfere in the affairs of other regions. Moreover, this is not the first time that the opinion about the inevitability of a third Chechen war has been voiced. This time, this point of view was voiced by the author of the Alex Parker Returns channel. The two majors Z channel writes that the state forming people in the Russian Federation are not yet Chechen and ridicules the countless awards that the Chechen leadership presents to Kadyrov's son, Adam. Z mill blogger Yuri Kotenok demands that the authorities of the Vladimir region and the federal center under no circumstances bend. Otherwise, it will come back to bite you. In turn, Z blogger Roman Saponkov believes that the attacks on the Chechen authorities indicate the weakness of the federal center during the war. Meanwhile, the traitor of Ukraine, collaborator Oleg Sarev, writes that Chechnya is part of Russia and not vice versa. Let us recall that some analysts believe that Kadyrov sensing the weakening of the federal center is actively preparing for the future collapse of the country. Chechnya is gathering vassals around itself. The reason, by the way, is quite objective. If mainland Russia nevertheless falls into a catastrophe and begins a phase of transition back to the wildness of the Middle Ages, then on its territory a specific demarcation will very quickly begin to form. And then large conglomerates will be measured, as in the Middle Ages, by the quantity and quality of their suzerain vassal systems, says the famous Russian analyst Anatoly Nesmian. He warned that Moscow's attempt to bring the situation back into the legal framework and take control of Chechnya would lead to disaster. In that case, Moscow would probably start a third war with the Republic. Two phases of development cannot coexist on the same territory, so a new conflict will inevitably break out between Chechnya and Russia, the expert emphasized.
Another footage has been released, showing the explosions that occurred following the Ukrainian army's missile attack on the occupied city of Luhansk on October 29th. As can be seen from the footage shared by local residents, two explosions took place in the area. One of them is said to be at a gas station. It should be noted that an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse as a result of the Ukrainian missile strike on the area. Residents who shot the footage said those in the area fled after the first explosion. <laughs> Охренеть, вот эта красота была, блядь. Чё горит? Чё они бегут, куда? Я стол, я и окна повылетали нахуй на все. Вы повылетали окна? Да, я с полки налетели, блядь. Ну, с... повылетала она там, нихуя. Все, смотри, все уезжают. Вон летит, аж свои куски летят. Он бегут все люди. Еще разок где бала. Пиздец. <свист> 